Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my March favorites. I have a lot of fashion favorites for March, which I'm really excited to share. But starting off is skincare. First being my favorite skincare these past few months, especially last month, I really started to notice a difference because I feel like skincare takes about like three months or so to really notice like what it's actually doing for your skin. It's not going to happen right away. And I just finished this actually and my skin just feels so good and this is the Biva Plant Stem Cell Serum with Peptides. This is what it looks like and this has done wonders on my skin. I've been wanting to try this out for so long. I will say it is a pricier serum, so if you want an alternative or a cheaper option, I definitely recommend trying out the Polish Toys Peptide Serum. That's incredible. I also have tried that in the past, but if you're willing to splurge a little bit, I highly recommend this one. It is just so good. My skin has felt incredible since using this, and I just think peptide, like that ingredient really works well with my skin the peptide the niacinamide and vitamin c i think those are my top three ingredients for serums and this one especially i love Biba skincare i think they have really great stuff really great ingredients and everything i've tried for them has really worked well with my skin so this is definitely a fan favorite of mine for a serum probably one of my favorite serums i've ever tried in my entire life Moving on is this new combination I have been doing when I don't feel like wearing makeup and that is a lot of the time but I still need to look a little bit presentable and professional whether I'm out and about, whether I'm working, whether I'm going to lunch with friends and I want to look a little bit awake and alive but don't want to have like a full face of makeup on. What I've been doing is I've been mixing my sunscreen and I use the Elta MD sunscreen and I just have the clear with the Say Super Glow gel in Sun Glow and the combination of these two just leaves your face just this glowy bronze look and it just I feel so good when I just have this on and that's in in unreal like the fact that I don't need to put like foundation or anything else on and I feel put together, I feel awake, I feel pretty with just this is amazing and this has been like a go-to combination and then all that I do is I'll brush up my eyebrows maybe or put a little bit of mascara, sometimes I don't and I'm good and I walk out the door and I feel like okay I got ready, I look good but I don't have like a face full of makeup and it's not going to be like oh I have to go home you know when you're going throughout the entire day with a full face of makeup on and by the end of the night that you're you just feel so gross this doesn't happen obviously because this is so lightweight and then you're just mixing it with your sunscreen I do want to try or I've heard how popular the tinted sunscreen is but a part of me doesn't want the tinted sunscreen just because sometimes I just don't want anything on my face and then I can just use this and then when I want a little bit of color I can just mix it with this say sun glow I have and it's perfect so if you want to try like a tint you can also mix it in I um, with like a tinted moisturizer or a tinted CC cream or something like that but this is perfect because it's almost like a primer in a sense. It's not like a foundation or a CC cream or BB cream consistent consistency. It's like a gel. So it's not as thick as like a, like a BB cream would be if that makes sense or a tinted moisturizer which I really like because it even feels like more lightweight when putting it with my clear sunscreen but this has just been the best combination and I've been using this all the time in the morning I just absolutely love it my last makeup favorite is actually 
three products that a brand sent me and the brand's called OG. I'm pretty sure that's how they pronounce it, but they sent me their three face sculpt sticks and one's in the color copper, which is like a cream bronzer. And then they sent me the opal, which is their highlighter, cream highlighter, and then rose quartz, which is their blush. And they are all like, clean beauty brand they're a clean beauty brand which i love so they're all cruelty free but what i really love about these is that they blend so easily and so nicely and that is hard to find in a cream bronzer sometimes it takes forever to like blend out your cream bronzer or blush or whatever you have but this just blends so easily maybe because it's a clean beauty brand and those uh, tend to be made with more like oil based products so the blending is a lot easier to blend out than like other makeup brands i don't know i'm just making that up so i could be totally wrong but bottom line these are just really really nice the color is gorgeous and i just love the blending capability that these have they are definitely going to be used a lot this summer and this spring and I am really excited. I also love this blush color because I don't have like a deep blush color like that. So it's really nice um, change from my Demur, which is a more pinky pinky blush. And then the bronzer color is a really nice deep brown color. So it is a really nice cream bronzer to put on your face. So I just really, really like those products. I do have a discount code. I'm pretty sure it's Hannah slash 25 to get 15% off. I'm not 100% sure if that's correct, but I'll put it here and also leave it linked down below when I link these products for you guys. But highly recommend checking them out. They're really great cream-based products and they blend so, so well. Moving on to fashion favorites. The first one being this vintage brown leather jacket i got this actually a couple years ago but recently i have been living in it like living in it don't want to all my outfits somehow i put this on in the end it's just been a go-to especially in spring with this like weird weather i don't know what's happening but it's cold like i don't know we're just having really weird weather here in Maryland. So this has been the perfect jacket and I've just been loving it with like my black jeans, blue jeans, white jeans, you name it. I have been putting this with it and I'm just been obsessed with it over the past month. It's really weird because I feel like I went a long time without wearing it. And then now that I wore it once, I can't like stop wearing it. It's my favorite. I got it from the vintage online store, Evelina Vintage. Really, really pretty, pretty beautiful vintage pieces. They are on the pricier end, I will say that, but I also leave a link to similar styles online that I found um, of a brown leather jacket that had that similar vibe. My next favorite is my gray Durf Avenue blazer. And this has been my favorite blazer of all of them that I have. I've just been grabbing this the most, maybe because this is the newest one that I have purchased, but I have just been loving this gray color. It's just so pretty. And I've been loving to put it with like my black jeans or just like a black maxi dress with some boots. It's just been my favorite blazer to grab. I've just been grabbing this more than my other two I have for them. And I wear a size extra small. I get a lot of questions of what size I wear in their blazers. I wear a size extra small and I love that how it fits. It still fits oversized, but it's not like too big. My next favorite, and I actually posted this in a what I recently got video, but it's the black jeans from Free People. They're the Levi's loose straight jeans. These are just incredible straight leg black jeans. They're low rise, they're just perfect. They are so comfortable. They just have the best like worn in material. 
like as soon as you purchase them you don't really need to break them in they're already so comfortable and i just love the way they fit they just fit so perfectly so if you're looking for one i highly recommend this i'm really into black jeans at the moment so i have been living in this with like a white t-shirt and that brown leather jacket or the gray blazer that has been a go-to outfit of mine this past month i have been just like outfit repeating to an extreme amount let's just say that but i have been living in these black jeans i love them my next two favorites are from the brand mott and bow and i hope you can't tell but there's currently makeup inside of this because i have been wearing this white tee almost every single day this is just the perfect boxy white tee i am obsessed with it I just love the material. It's amazing quality, a really great price, and the fit of it is just so good. It's the perfect like boxy tee look. A little bit baggy, not too form-fitted. It's a little bit cropped, so it ends right where your jeans usually end, which is like the perfect length. I have just been in love with this. I've been pairing it with skirts, jeans, over top of like a slip dress, it's just been a go-to of mine. Obsessed with this t-shirt. I need to get it in more colors. And then my last favorite is also from Mott and & Bow. And it's this cream crew neck sweatshirt. And I have been loving this. It is just such a chic looking sweatshirt. And it's perfect to pair with outfits that still look presentable. And it's not like you're wearing like a sweat set. I have been pairing this with like my black jeans and then throwing my leather jacket, my brown leather jacket over it and I've just been obsessed with that look. So I highly recommend this sweater or this sweatshirt if you're looking for a more like presentable looking sweatshirt if that even makes any sense. It just falls so well and it just fits so well. It's so comfortable. The cream color is just stunning. I. I absolutely love this. I have been living in this sweatshirt. Actually, all the pieces that I'm showing you, I've been just going back and forth, waiting for them to get dirty, cleaning them, wearing them again. I've been loving all those pieces. Obviously, they're in my favorites video. But those are currently all the favorites that I had this past March. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you.